everyone, I am Jessica from Jessica's Wool Emporium and today I have my Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month box for June. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, um, but before I do that, I'm just going to say that I have a dye pot on the stove, so if I run up and in a real hurry, that's why. <laughs> Um, it should be fine. I just checked on it, so hopefully it'll be fine. So I've got my box here. I got my name blocked out there. Got my knife, and I'm ready to open. I think they taped it differently this time. Usually they tape here. But they didn't this time. Alright, here we go. So this is our tissue paper. Oh, it's pretty. It's like lilac. The Great Outdoors. Be brave, take risks. Nothing can, nothing can substitute experience. So that is that. So it looks like it is a, might be like a natural box. Oh, that is, I love the greens with the purple. So this is what, whoops, what I've got. So we have Eunice, of course, which is their mascot logo. And every month they do something different with her. So this time it looks like a moon with some mountains and a forest. That's really cute. I still don't know what I'm going to do with them all. But I'm just holding on to them right now. Ah, okay. So this sticker is Will Do Ness. And then we've got, this is probably our goodie bag. We always get a little goodie bag with some notions and usually a treat. So let's see what's in here today. Oops. So we got a piece of taffy and a little charm. I think these are supposed to be um, stitch markers for knitting. And I just think they are so adorable. So those are what was in the goodie bag. And then let's see what's in my box. Let's start with the the dark green bag. So this is undyed Polra Polwar wool top in a dark green bag. I've got a lot of dyeing going on right now, guys. <laughs> so this is it here. Oh, that is that is quite soft. So that's it. So it's white. And there's four ounces of this. And so that's enough to fill one of my bobbins on my, oh, I can't get this back in. I don't know how they do this. There we go. On my Kromsky Prelude. Um, like I said in my last video, I do want to get a jumbo flyer and jumbo bobbins set up but I don't have that 
right now. We also have two ounces of undyed baby camel down and Tessa silk blend 50-50 in a light green bag. Oh, that is really soft too. Let's open that up. Oh, oh, I love that color. It's like a honey color almost. And that is absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely beautiful. And, oh, what is that? Oh, ha, that's funny. There's a little bee in there. I think it's a bee. Yeah, a little bee. He's so cute. He was just stuck in, stuffed in the, in with the wool. Oh, I think, guys, I think this might be another dyeing kit. That's what I'm thinking. What have we got here? Country clap. <clears throat> Country Classics Colors for You. Ooh! For wool, silk, and nylon. Dyes 8 ounces and only 30. <gasps> I've got more dye. Okay, but guys, <clears throat> before I go into dye again, especially when it's not necessarily a food safe dye, make sure that you're using food safe equipment and you dump out your old water when it's done. Do not leave it on the stove. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Let's see. So we have... <laughs> Where is it? 20 grams of country classic dye with dye instructions. So that's in there. Is it upside down? No. Why is it showing upside down for you guys? Huh. Okay. Anyway. And then we always get like this grassy kind of stuff. Paper, crimped paper stuff. To fill it out. So, let's see. One bag of Moth Be Gone Stash Protector, Organic Lavender. Is that in here, maybe? I guess I've got to open this up. Because I don't see that anywhere. Do -do -do. Nope. We've got the dye. And you know what? Like I said, I've already got my dye pot going. I have silk cocoons that are I'm trying to degum right now for the first time. It's been taking me all day. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So, I don't know what this Moth Be Gone Stash Protector is. Huh. I'm wondering if maybe Customs got to it, but I didn't see a slip. Um, but if I find it, I will let you guys know. Um, I will contact Paradise Fibers. Um, I've never had an issue with Paradise Fibers. But people say that when they do have an issue, they give them a call or an email and their customer service is excellent. So maybe I'll do that and find out what that was. Because that's weird. Anyway, I have to get going. And I will talk to you guys later. I think maybe my next video, I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, 
yeah, with my, my spinning and my dyeing and, and all that fun stuff. So until then, have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.